what really is the heart of the matter for people who use TikTok is that it can be a big money maker. And we saw a crowd of TikTok creators gathered in Washington yesterday. They're protesting a potential ban because they say the platform provides their livelihood. Grace Williams is a TikTok creator and CEO of Slimes by Grace. So her business becomes sales, brand partnerships, reviews of toys and food, and then the sales of slime. And Grace, I understand 80% of your income comes through TikTok. Could you move all of that to another social media platform? So I think it's extremely hard to, at the level I'm at now on TikTok, to then just change to a different platform. Um, most creators do use all different platforms just in case if something like this does happen. But most creators do heavily rely on one platform. And TikTok is that for me, 100%. So from going to 2 million on TikTok to then going to my other platforms, which don't have nearly as many followers as that, it's definitely a big difference. So what's your concern when you're watching the CEO of TikTok testify on Capitol Hill? What's top of mind for you? So top of mind for me is like what to do next, what the next steps are, because I so heavily do rely on TikTok. Um, I sell most of my slime on TikTok, going on TikTok Live, being able to show my products and just chatting with everybody. So that's like the number one concern is like, when is this going to happen? How much time am I going to have? Um, because it takes a long time to be able to take that platform that I have and that community that I have and move it to a different platform. And the other platforms do have completely different algorithms. Like YouTube is long form content and I don't specialize in that at all. So it's going to be a big, big change. Julia. Uh, Grace, I, I'm curious whether or not you see opportunity in the Instagram Reels format. I know that most TikTok creators also cross post their videos on Reels. And I know that Meta, Instagram's owner, is really making a big push to try to bring creators like you over to the platform and also to make it easy for you to sell products via their platform. This is something that YouTube is working on as well. They also have a short form format. Do you see opportunity in both of those platforms right now, both YouTube and Instagram Reels? So I do because they are very fast growing and they definitely want to have a bunch of creators come over to it. So they are giving like very good incentives to be able to do it. I know they just did like one program um, called the bonuses where they actually pay you for those short, short form videos. But it is very, very hard because I'm so focused on TikTok. Um, I believe like Instagram and YouTube, they don't really favor if your content is coming from TikTok. So I'll save my videos from TikTok and repost them onto the other platforms. Um, because it's so hard to be able to really focus on filming for three different platforms and for those algorithms. Um, so I definitely have been re repurposing all of my content onto those platforms. But because it's not my main one, um, you know, like Instagram would want you to film in app, be able to edit in app. And everybody all over TikTok is saying to follow those mandates to be able to really push onto those Instagram reels. So it's definitely going to be a big change. I would have to kind of focus on both either TikTok and um, Instagram and YouTube and be able to film like film the same one video but on those three different platforms to be able to organically have that algorithm pick it up and really push it. I really like all the slime behind you there Grace. <laughs> it's cool man. Thank I, you. I really love it. What, what, my question is this. What is it that makes TikTok uh, so so much your sort of lead platform and what makes it so compelling to your customers that that that's where everybody seems to gravitate. What is it about TikTok that makes it so? So I think because TikTok is like the hype of the social media app now, um, Instagram has been around forever, YouTube has been around forever. So it's kind of like people really saw this TikTok and were like, whoa, this is awesome. And at the beginning of TikTok, people would completely blow up overnight from having zero followers to like millions of followers, literally within a week. So it's really crazy on how fast you can grow on TikTok. But I think what's just so great is it really, TikTok really focuses on being able to communicate and really be able to have that kind of personal interaction. I feel like on Instagram and on YouTube, it's a little bit more like professional or a little bit more like mm -hmm. showing the good parts of your life or the good parts of the business. Whereas mm -hmm. TikTok is a lot more like personable. I guess it's like socially acceptable to be able to go on and show all the hardships of a business or show all the hardships of just day to day life that people share. So I think it's really more personable and you feel like you're kind of talking to your friends rather on Instagram. It's kind of more of like a show, I guess. Yeah.